When you ride in the car, do you ever see dead animals on the side of the road? Yeah. yeah. Ooh. What do you call those dead animals that are on the side of the road? Roadkill. Do you think that it's important for us to collect the data on roadkill? It's good for like wildlife preservers where they count how many um, types of those animals are still alive and how many get killed each year and stuff. It's very important in making a decision basically is what you're saying. So our essential question today that we're going to answer at the end of the period is how can you make and use a data display in a way that helps you make important decisions? So let's look at some data. I have made a chart with some data on it. And this is a group of schools in New England participated in a two-month study and they reported 3,962 dead animals. Now the way that data is displayed, is that helpful to you? Not really. Katie, was that you that said not really? Well, because we can't really compare the answers to each other that easily because we can't see what animal is killed more often than the other. Are there other ways you would like to see that data displayed? You could always do graphs and charts. Okay. Now I heard a couple people say that it was helpful to them. Who, who told me that this data was fine? And it's fine. You don't, it, you're not incorrect to tell me that you like the data displayed this way. I would just like for you to tell me why. Oscar, was it you that said it was okay? Yes. Okay. And don't, don't be, don't, it's not wrong. I just want to know, I just need for you to defend your answer, if you would. I was just saying that because it tells you how many, what kind of animals they're, not like the name of the animals, but what group they fall under, and it just shows that, and then you can go somewhere else and like research all the, like how many mammals were killed, or what type of mammals were killed. Okay, so for you, you could see the different types of animals, and you were able to pull. Now let's look at the next example, black bear, bear roadkill. The data below show the number of black bears killed on Florida roads from 1987 through 2006. Now look at that data and tell me if that is helpful. I say yes because it tells you the specific year and in that year how many bears were, ro were um, road killed, actually, were killed. And um, it also, yeah, just tells you a lot of information about that animal. Okay. Roadkill. <laughs> do your you girls over here are kind of quiet? Maybe it's because you don't like roadkill. <laughs> that's all right. But if you don't like roadkill, then you would be really wanting to do something to prevent it. So knowing that it happens and seeing the displays should help you be able to come to some decisions or help others come to decisions to maybe help prevent it. Does this display of the black bear help you? to be able to make decisions? Or do you think there may be other displays that would be easier? I think that graphs would be better and um, just line charts where you can compare the dates to each other to see which dates show more killed or less. So Katie said to us that she thought the data would be easier to look at and make decisions if it were displayed in another form. So I want you to look through all of these and just talk about each of them with your partners and then we're going to go back and we're going to look at some examples and I'm going to ask you to tell me which display would be best to display data. I, 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 like, I like the circle graph and everything, man. I think the line graph would be best um, only because it shows like data it. over time. I heard really good discussion as each of you and in your groups talked about the different data displays. So I would like for us to revisit one of the uh, pieces of data we looked at a few minutes ago, and that was about the roadkill in New England. What I would like you to do is to discuss in your groups for just a minute or two how you would best display that data. So if you would just talk among yourselves and figure out which is the best display, you can refer to your book to look at the different displays, but I'd like you to come to a conclusion in your group. That you think it's a circle graph?
Either a pictograph or a photograph. Like which roadkill was killed the most and which one was the least, and you get to see all the animals. For this data, which display is probably the best? And I think that Megan's going to share with us um, her thinking. I said a circle graph because it's easy to see which um, which animal got killed the most and which one got killed the least, and you see the whole um, part of it. So, um, and it's easy to figure out and use. Does everyone agree a circle graph is a good display? We have some some differences of opinion over here. We think that a bar graph would be better because if something's even like one just one percent off then you can tell easier in a bar graph which one's higher and, and a bar, or in a circle graph you can't really do that. So let's think back about the essential question that I asked at the beginning of the class period. Can anyone remember what it was? How can you display data in a way that helps you make decisions? So who can answer that? It helps because the right graph or the right picture helps us make better decisions because depending on what we see, it can help us like so, work faster, make it easier on us to understand. And then we can defend that decision as well. Yes. Very good. Well, tonight I'd like for you to go home and I would like you to look on the internet or in the newspaper and I'd like you to find data displays and cut some out and bring them tomorrow. I'd like you to find some that are misleading and just be prepared to tell us why they're misleading and find some that are really informative that help make decisions. You guys have been great today. Thank you.